Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll talk about the algorithms included in a typical SFTP server and explain their basic functions. We'll cover algorithms for key exchanges, ciphers, Macs, and compressions. After that, we'll dive into the Jscape MFT Server Manager web GUI and show you where you can configure those SFTP algorithms there. Having a basic understanding of these algorithms and knowing where to configure them will enable you to strengthen your SFTP server security or troubleshoot certain client connection issues. First, let's talk about key exchanges, ciphers, Macs, and compressions. Whenever you send sensitive files over an insecure network like the internet, you might want to make sure that, one, your data stays confidential throughout the transmission. You wouldn't want valuable or sensitive information such as PII, trade secrets, customer lists, key employee salaries, marketing strategies, source codes, etc. fall into the wrong hands. So you want all that information to be kept confidential throughout the transmission. Second, you want to make sure that data integrity is upheld. That is to say, it should remain unchanged or if ever it does undergo even the slightest accidental or intentional changes that you have a way of knowing that a change occurred. Third, you want to make sure that you are able to verify the authenticity of its source. You want to make sure those files really came from the party you expect those files to be coming from, and not from an imposter. These three objectives are the main reasons why SFTP is very suitable for transmitting sensitive files. It already comes with algorithms that help you meet these objectives. For instance, to preserve confidentiality during transmission, SFTP provides data in motion encryption. The various algorithms used for this purpose are called ciphers. To perform data integrity checks and discover possible modifications in the data, SFTP uses what are known as message authentication codes or MACs. The algorithms designed for this security mechanism are aptly called MAC algorithms. Like data integrity checks, authenticity checks are also carried out using MACs. So once again, the algorithms used in this kind of tasks are the MAC algorithms. In addition to those two algorithms already mentioned, SFTP has two more that also play important roles in SFTP transmissions. They are the compression algorithms and the key exchange algorithms. Compression algorithms are algorithms responsible for compressing files before transmission. Compression reduces the size of compressible files and in turn improves transmission times. Compression also adds another important benefit. It increases the entropy of the data, which consequently makes it more resistant to certain cryptanalysis attacks. Key exchange algorithms are algorithms that are responsible for establishing secure methods of exchange for the symmetric keys needed during encryption. Configuring these algorithms in your SFTP server simply entails going to the algorithms module and selecting the algorithms you want to enable. Then when a user connects to your server, that user's SFTP client and your SFTP server will first negotiate which algorithms to use during the SFTP session. Whatever they arrive at would depend on the algorithms supported by the client and those algorithms you've enabled. If you haven't enabled certain algorithms on the server and they're the only algorithms the client supports, the client will have problems connecting. So why then shouldn't you simply enable all algorithms? The answer is this. Certain algorithms are more secure than others. If you want your SFTP sessions to be highly secure, then you will have to force your sessions to employ only the most secure algorithms. Remember, however, that in doing so, you may encounter interoperability issues with legacy SFTP clients which understandably only support older and less secure algorithms. In other words, users with legacy SFTP clients might not be able to connect if you only enable the most secure algorithms. So you really need to keep in mind these trade-offs when setting your algorithms. Now that you have a basic understanding of the various SFTP algorithms, it's time to walk you through the process of setting them up on your SFTP server running on Jscape MFT server. Launch your Jscape MFT server manager and go to the services module. Navigate to the SFTP slash SCP tab and then click the algorithms button. The first set of algorithms you'll be able to modify is the key exchanges algorithms. 
Some of the supported key exchange algorithms are now shown on the screen. Check the checkboxes of the key exchange algorithms you want to enable and then proceed to the next tab. The next set of algorithms you may want to set are the ciphers. These are the algorithms currently supported on Jscape MFT server. Take the checkboxes of the ciphers you want to enable and then proceed to the next tab. We now go to the MAC algorithms. These are some of the MACs supported on Jscape MFT server. Finally, we go to the compressions algorithms. For now, the only supported compression algorithm is Zlib, a widely used compression algorithm. Click the OK button when you're done. As soon as you're done making those changes and are back at the SFTP slash SCP tab, click the Apply button. That's it. Now you know how to set SFTP algorithms on your SFTP server.